Hey, I'm Fielding. I'm Ryan. I'm Hayden. And basically, our project was to build a lithium ion battery charging circuit to be implemented in combination with a solar powered light bulb. So, to begin building the circuit, we had to solder a small outline transistor to a spark fund mount, a six pin receiver. This is especially difficult because of the size of the transistor that we were soldering. I will now show you a close-up of the actual lithium ion charge management controller. This is the IC. It has five pins. The first pin is STAT. The second pin is VSS. The third pin is VBAT. The fourth pin is VDD. And the fifth pin is PROG. This is our schematic. Let's start right here at VN. This is where we connect the solar panel, which also connects to this 4.7 microfarad capacitor. Uh, next part goes to VDD. This is the input supply voltage pin. The next branch right here is the LED indicator, which also goes through the 470 ohm resistor up to the charge status pin, referred to as STAT. Next part of the circuit is VSS. That is the reference pin, which goes up to the two kilo ohm resistor, which also goes to the prog pin, which is the charge regulation set. And that also right there connects to ground. Depending on, on whatever this resistance is, it determines the uh, current that flows through. Ours is 500 milliamps this calculation. Last part of this circuit is the VBAT pin which goes from here to the 4.7 microfarad capacitor and then this is the actual battery cell. We constructed our circuit based off of this typical application circuit found on the data sheet for this chip. We used the manufacturer provided values in order to implement a 500 milliamp charging circuit. All right, so here we have a digital multimeter measuring the voltage across the terminals of the lithium ion battery. Uh, we can see that the battery is fully discharged because it is resting at zero volts. Here is the complete charging circuit. We are using a 10 minute DC power supply to simulate the power coming from the solar panel. When you turn on the power supply, we can see that the current was close to 500 milliamps to begin with and as it begins charging the battery, we'll reduce the current based on the amount of charge in the battery. All right, so this image shows the lithium ion battery charging circuit being powered by a solar panel. The charging circuit takes voltage coming out from the solar panel and uses it to charge the battery, which in turn powers the circuit. Uh, we use a industrial temperature sensor to record the temperature of the battery in order to ensure that the battery did not overheat. This time lapse displays the lithium ion battery charging. The top digital multimeter is measuring the current through the battery, and the bottom digital multimeter shows the voltage across the battery. You can see that as the battery charges, the voltage across the positive and negative terminals increases. Also, as the battery charges, the rate that the current flows into the battery decreases so that the battery does not get overcharged. The preferred charge algorithm for lithium ion battery chemistries is a constant current, constant voltage algorithm. The charge cycle can be broken up into four stages, trickle charge, constant current charge, constant voltage charge, and constant termination. 
This charge profile is achieved by utilizing the lithium ion charge management controller. In addition to the danger of overcharging lithium ion batteries, it is also crucial not to undercharge the batteries either. Even slightly undercharging lithium ion batteries can result in significant decreases of capacity that the battery can hold. This simple graph shows just how crucial it is not to undercharge these batteries. We can calculate our prog for any rate of charging circuit that we want to use. We will begin by using the formula I reg equals 1000 volts divided by R prog. For a 250 milliamp charging circuit, we would use R prog equals 1000 volts divided by 250 milliamps and this would give us 4 kilo ohms so that would be the size of the resistor R prog that we would need to use alright that basically wraps everything up so we learned a lot of important skills while completing this lithium ion battery charging circuit such as surface mount soldering, uh, being able to read a data sheet and take out key information, and the importance of safety when dealing with potentially dangerous materials. So even though we use the circuit in this specific solar panel application, it can be applied in an infinite amount of other applications. Uh, thank you, uh, and we hope you learned something from our presentation. Okay, so this is our actual circuit. Our, uh, this can, let's start over. Okay. Believe you yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is charge status. Here is the complete charging circuit. We are using a Tenma DC power supply to simulate the power coming from the solar panel. We can see that the current 